Hey, I'm Sophie Kay, and this is Not Fest at Wacken 2022. It's back in 2022 and we have Lena from Infected Rain right here with us. Hello. Hello. Thank you for having me. Thank you for joining us because we're massive fans at Thank Not you. Fest. Thank you. Now, you're going to be playing later on today at Vaken. Have you been around so far and seen much? Uh, not much because by the time we arrived, ooh, okay. I don't know <laughs> what just splashed okay. us. <laughs> Let's well, hope it was it was water. Holy water. And not <laughs> not infected water. Rain. Okay. <laughs> let's start again. Um, yeah, we didn't do really a lot so far because we uh, around I guess we settled in around one mm. and by the time we ate took a shower because we drove here the entire night and uh, I've had multiple interviews, had to get ready. And yeah, we didn't really see all that much besides this amazing artist area, I gotta yeah. say. Uh, but I know my musicians are enjoying enjoying a lot of bands right now. Okay. And they've been just uh, hopping around different stages to just uh, enjoy some of our friends musicians, some Aww. of the just the bands that they like, so that's good. So basically, the rest of the band are out having fun while you do all the work. Yeah. I mean. Welcome to my life. I mean. Just kidding, just <laughs> kidding. No, actually it's good for them because they are doing so much work. We This summer uh, is uh, particularly difficult for us because uh, of uh, it finally being okay to travel and tour for all yeah. the bands. Everybody all of a sudden had to be out there. So there is a lack of crew, lack of transportation, drivers. Uh, everything so this summer we actually had to roll our sleeves and remember how we used to do it years ago and we yeah. dr we are driving ourselves so my boys deserve all the fun they can get Aww. right now because they've been driving all night and they've been driving this entire summer and we still have a lot to go until the end of September so they deserve it all so yeah Aww, I, I'm I glad that. to do this work uh, while they you know can relax a little it's interesting you say that, that going back to those roots of where you had to do everything yeah. yourself. How do you feel? Because obviously there's been a lot of change for you as a band over the years. How do you think the scene has changed over that time? Um, it's difficult to answer because it's so... The answer could be so... Um, wide you know what i mean yeah. like so many things changed obviously you know we started in 2008 mm -hmm. back when the youtube just started flourishing yeah you know and there was no instagram facebook i don't even know when facebook came around honestly i remember us having myspace yeah. you know what i mean yeah. <laughs> like we would give people our myspace or like nowadays everything is more digitalized which has obviously its ups and downs um but we're trying to you know, um go with the float and understand what's new and hey the other day i created my tiktok hey you know what I mean? what's your tiktok <laughs> handle give it a plug <laughs> You know what I mean? Like every single time, bless you. Thank you. <laughs> every single time there's something new. Like it takes me forever to like, I know TikTok is not new guys. Okay, stop laughing at me. <laughs> but it takes me a while. I'm an old lady. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Um, but I'm, I'm trying my best. We are trying our best to um, go in, in, on the same pace uh, with uh, everything. Excuse me, sorry. It's okay. Hey, it's Fever. the sun. The sun <laughs> is right in your face. So... Um, Yes, there are differences. There are differences in a good and in a bad way, I feel like. But um, if you adapt and you learn how to work, I feel like you can turn these differences in your advantage, mm. you know? And even though sometimes it's hard, like like right now, after the pandemic, um, we, we, we are constantly on tour right now. Like we started in April wow. and we are ending in uh, end of September. And I'm talking about three different tours that had almost no breaks between wow. them. And, you know, like we never in our entire career did this wow. ever. In fact, my boyfriend is like, is it always going to be like that? I'm Aww. like, no, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that you know? is a long time touring. It is. And it's hard. It's hard on us. It's hard on our loved ones. It's hard on everybody, you know. But we are trying our best to make it work because... Uh, we understand that this is a very unique situation for and everybody is in the same boat 
all the musicians. And yeah, we are trying our best to give it all. What do you think it is that's um, had such an uptake in touring like for such a long time? Obviously, we didn't have it during the pandemic. Yeah, that's exactly you, it. Do you feel that the band also flourished in the pandemic? Well, two things happened right before the pandemic. We released an album yeah, and we did. signed with a label. We were 10 years independent. We wow. did everything by ourselves and many labels and many people tried to work with us. Yeah. But we felt like we are pretty comfortable working yeah. by ourselves and doing our own thing. And we were not ready uh, to, to start collaborating with so many people and start, you know, we were honestly, I'll be honest with you, like uh, full transparency right here. We were terrified that people wanted to, uh, you know, that somebody would want to change us or yes, to, of course. to, 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 Mm, you know, introduce something that we are not. Mm. So that fear was pretty strong, honestly, because we've seen it happen with many bands, but we didn't know. So that's the main reason why we turned down even very, very good offers at the time. Mm. Uh, finally, when we were ready and people that um, are with us right now, Napalm Records, uh, they've been just the most stubborn and the most supportive. Wow, yes, they've been with us, uh, although we were not working together. They've been always checking with us, always talking to us, always supportive about what we were releasing for, I want to say, almost four years before we signed. Mm. So that's why we, we are extremely happy to be with people that believe in us so much and they never once wanted us to be someone else. That's powerful. That is very important for any band. And don't get me wrong, maybe some musicians and some bands need guidance more than others. Yeah. I'm not saying we didn't. We are listening to professional people's opinion. We are trying our best to see their point of view from many aspects. And working together makes it so much easier because we know they, they've proven that they love us the way they, we are and they only want the best for us. So I'm not saying don't listen to people when they tell you what to do. Mm. Just listen, be open-minded, listen, but always consider your goal, your, you know, um, where you wanna go with, with your mm. art. So if that matches pretty much, then you can work together. What would you say you know? has been the biggest lesson or new progress that you've made as an individual like as an individual as part of the band where you were like actually i wouldn't have done that before but okay well uh the tiktok <laughs> <laughs> in general social media <laughs> no honestly i think that nothing ever before this before the band before being a performer and a writer nothing ever put me out there so open and so raw in front of people. Wow. It's actually really challenging and as a person I'm not very normally not very comfortable with it. Really? Yes. Wow. However, the only way I'm comfortable with it is with the music, mm. through the music. And I'm writing uh, lyrics for Infected Rain uh, and I'm writing about my own life experiences, my own people that surround me, my own um, thoughts and ideas and things that touch me in a way, right? So being able to actually share that with people and open so much and be so in a way naked out yeah. there is pretty challenging. Not many people can do that. And I'm not saying I'm special, I'm saying it's challenging and it takes guts to do it. Yeah. For me, it does. For some, it doesn't. Some people are more extroverted, and it's fine with them. I, I, I'm, I can be. I think I'm ambivert. I, I can be both. Mm. But my band, the stage, and the fans are my therapists, and I am insanely thankful that I have this in my life. I would. I never had it before, and I don't think anything else can be compared to that. Mm. Do you think, though, that by doing that, you've created a deeper connection with your audience yes but that has its ups and downs oh does it absolutely in, what I, way? in in all the way possible all the aspects possible so unfortunately this job 
brings a lot of hate, but also brings a lot of love. So now you have to learn how to cope with it and how to move on and how to deal with it. But I will be honest with you, um, I feel way more love than anything else. And Good. I just try to, no matter what, balance it in that way and and not think about all the troubled people that are out there and think they are entitled to tell other people what to do while they are sitting on their couches. I find that interesting because I think a lot of artists bring it up and they talk about this that negativity that you can get through social media. And to be honest, as you're saying that, I find it shocking for the simple fact that the band are amazing. The last record was phenomenal. You are beautiful. You're the kind Thank of person you. that everyone would want to follow on social. And I, I'm like, where are you finding negativity? Where are so, these people finding it? So people, unfortunately, troubled people can find negativity in everything. Yeah. You know, uh, you will hear words like, oh, of course they listen to your band because there's a, a girl singing. Oh, no. You know, or something like oh why don't you sing about this or why don't you sing in this language or that language because uh, I speak many languages and a lot of people from the countries I used to live in get offended why I don't use that language or the other language or why don't I write about this or about that uh, or why do I look like this and not like that so everybody feels empowered to, to, to give me their opinion about it I just learned with time, obviously in the beginning, uh, I won't lie, it did affect me a lot. Yeah. I was depressed for many reasons and I, will, I didn't even know if I should continue because all I could hear is negativity mm. and how untalented and uh, ugly and useful I, I, oh gosh, I can be. <laughs> it's my heart hearing you say that and I'm sure people watching this will be like... It is, it is something every single band goes through in the beginning yeah. though. It is, and when I understood that and embraced that, I just moved on and I, d I decided, you know what? I will do this for myself then. I will wow. do this because I need it for my mental health. I need it for uh, just being out there and I need it because I know I have a lot to say. And it led to us being here at Vakken after 14 years of doing this and 2022 talking to you and Thank you, thank you for all your kind words. There's a lot of love out there, so every single time there's a negativity, I just simply don't react. Thank you for sharing yes. your story there, because I think that's really powerful, and I think we do live in an age where people do feel like they can say anything on the internet, and I feel like there's a lot of young people watching this who might be going through and experiencing internet bullying. Oh, like absolutely bullying. and so it's still help that. it's still happening yeah. no matter you can be the biggest celebrity you can be somewhere I don't know quite famous or you can be not famous or beginner it doesn't matter it's out there no matter what yeah. however I'm just looking at you believe in yourself because nobody else will just believe in yourself and do you that's all that's all you have to do that's all you can do that's good advice if I ever did hear it I should be you do you want to take a fee for this therapy oh session because I'm sat here thinking I need I need to pay for this um, <laughs> no that's absolutely beautiful Thank what's you. coming up for infected rain going forward apart from a lot more touring and a very unhappy boyfriend because you're not at home <laughs> <laughs> oh come on he's happy come on um, well I think that uh, after we are done with touring we will have some time off but and again, I, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say that, but we will release in the end of this year, sometimes late uh, autumn, we will release our very first instrumental version of an album, wow. which is very exciting for us because we never did that before. And it's gonna be the instrumental for our latest album. And yeah, we are uh, super proud of it. Uh, also, sometimes in the beginning of spring, we are going to release a physical, a copy of hopefully amazingly made Blu-ray DVD of a movie that we released during the pandemic for our 13 year anniversary which wow. is called uh, The Devil's Dozen. It is a, a really long movie and a really long live show performance filmed an incredible production everything was done by us like starting from the very small little detail Everything was done by Infected Drain, filmed, produced, edited, and I'm very proud of it. 
people gave us so much love after they um, watched it online that uh, together with our crew from the label, we decided that a physical copy has to be out there. So that's, that's what we are working on uh, at the moment. Yeah, That's amazing. So you never stop. <laughs> yeah. You are just like busy, busy, go, 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 go. You have to, you have to. Otherwise, uh, you know, movement is life. You have it to. It is. <laughs> and for the fans at home watching this, I bet they're so excited already. So I hope you're going to be coming back to Knotfest to tell us more when you release the instrumental first of all and then the film we'll be chatting to you about that yes time. i really hope so yeah oh well thank you so much for chatting to us here thank today. you for having me thank you and we'll see you again soon yes thank you so much seriously